Oh, who knew Tuck was a pacifist? Hi, everybody. Beautiful day outside today. I was having a great day. Driving in, and then a text changed it all. Oh, uh, we're going to get to the Tigers. All was good morning. No, no, not you. <laughs> Jeez. I just, listen, I have a completely different take than what I heard on the last show, and I'm going to offer it to you. It's what I get paid to do. I mean, basically, little bro's back. MSU is just, you, you may as well change the nickname of the school to the Michigan State Capitulators. I mean, it makes me sick to my stomach. Pete Thamel reporting Michigan State made major concessions to the Big Ten for, quote, the good of the league. The league hates you. Wake up. They've never looked out for you. They don't like you. They protect Michigan and Ohio State, and they will throw you into a flaming garbage can the first chance they get. Why are we doing anything in 2023 for the good of the league? Why? Good of what league? The Rico Media Market Pinata? <laughs> You're giving up a comes home game. That. You're giving up your senior day on its appropriate date. You're taking tickets from season ticket holders that have already been paid for because your bum-ass commissioner didn't even have the decency to sign a regular contract. And now, what's the reward? We're going to go down. It's going to look like the quick lane bowl. They're not going to have the end zones. You're not going to have the branding. You're not going to have a college atmosphere. Not, not necessarily true, but continue. How would you do it in less than 24 hours? You bring your own uh, stadium and equipment team down, and they just work throughout the night and the day. There you, you go. The Invite over. me to dinner and ask me to cook it, too. It's a joke. And you know what? I got news for you. For any of you morons who think this is a great thing, newsflash. Wake me when Penn State gives away their home game in Happy Valley next year and we play it in, say, Heinz Field. Wake me up. Because it won't happen. Just like Michigan won't do it or Ohio State won't do it. I mean, this is right back to MSU playing in the Tokyo Bowl. Nice flight home from Japan, losing by 60 to Wisconsin. It's It's, it's pathetic. Oh, and by the way, oh, well, the idea came from the league office. I'm sorry. Did that come with a Joker mask and a gun? Did they put a Beretta to your temple? You didn't have to do it. You just tell them what Kenny tells them. We'll pass it on. It's it's absurd. Mike, Ohio State, Penn State, Michigan State made concessions. Did Michigan do it? No, they didn't. But then again... When Fox paid all that money, Fox bought all the rights to the Michigan games. At noon. So that's the preferred time right, slot. So, so therefore, you got to take them out of the equation. Yeah, but my whole point is that's where I don't need to hear other people here. I don't need to hear callers call up and go, oh, well, real cool idea. Is it? Cool. You give up a home game. Now, the home game thing, yeah, you're giving it up. If you're a season ticket holder, you're getting your money refunded back to you. Wow, what a blessing for the opportunity to buy this garbage. You get first priority to buy the game down here. It's a night game. It's senior day, but here's the deal. They're Is not that, doing senior day in Fort Field. No, they're not. Senior day will be November 4th. It'll be, uh, yeah, or they may try to do it another day. As I, But as I told David, I was, go ahead and hit the thing. I was there, senior day, <laughs> 2015. This is the team that went to the college football playoffs. It was an ice storm against Rutgers. Mike. Do you know, there were more people at the spring game yeah. for that ceremony. So that's why people can get upset. But when you give, well, it's their senior day. You don't show up anyway, Spartan no. fans. So no, when the product's bad, they shouldn't. The product had never been better. No, I they know. Were that was, the, in fairness. Right. Is that the game I'm thinking of where Rutgers wore the white helmets? I believe. That was a wicked ice storm. Still. Okay. I, okay. You know I'm saying? But th this was the best team ever. Ever. I know. This was Connor Cook. This was all your captains. So fun. And you didn't bother to show up. So that's not going to happen. Now, you can do your spiel now. I've said everything I need to say. TV's ruining the sport. I hope you're happy. And MSU, honestly, $9.5 million coach, 10 cent athletic department. What an absolute crock. Because what? They moved the game to yeah, four field? It's because they capitulated to the you Big Ten again. The, you were going to have to play the game at night. So everybody was saying, what's going to happen? It's going to be cold. It's going to be cold. Wah, see, here's the thing. Wah, here's, wah, see, wah, see, wah. David, here's how he set me up. 
he went to this extreme. I'm not a big fan of it, but now he's making it that I have to defend them. No, you don't. No. I'm not a big fan of it, but I— This isn't first take. Just have your opinion. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> Khalili! Blueberries! No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like it, say no, it. No. The fact that they're pl- they they solved the whole how do you get out of the cold weather, they're moving it to four field. It's the catch-22. This is going to be great if they're winning. Nobody cares. But this is what I was told to me. This is what I was thinking. This was told to me from the athletic department. They're five and six, and they need this game. Oh, hey, you gave up a home game. You gave up a home game, and nobody's going to be happy. They realize there's a lot of people not like you, not Happy about this at all. And I want to help you with something, too. Players loved it. One of us used to have season tickets. All right? Here's my advice to you if you're a season ticket holder. Get rid of them. They don't care about you. You're nothing. You're a maggot on a grocery bag. They are literally telling you, hey, thanks for sending us your hard-earned money. But now we've been pimped. So we're going to go ahead and send you that back, and well, you'll get first priority to now Buy tickets to a place that's not Michigan State, that's not East Lansing, that's not the campus, that's not the place you love, that you're not going to tailgate at, not if you plan on having your car not up on blocks. Like, give me a break. You're going to sell people tailgating in Eastern Market? Oh, wait, we can't do that anymore. Look, I'm not selling people tailgating. It was the night game. Everybody said, well, this is horrible. It's going to be nice. It's going to be cold. What about this? What about that? This is what you wanted, Mr. TV. This is what you wanted. they, They fixed it. The game is down there, and let's be real. A lot of people, a lot of alum are from Detroit. You don't have to make the drive. You don't have to buy the hotel room. You can simply go to the game, hop in your car, go home, and be in your own bed that night. It's also a joke. The game's on a Friday, but I digress. You do it the opener for Labor Day weekend, I kind of get it. Non-premium game, you do what you got to do. They played at Ford Field 20 years ago against FAU in kind of a little exhibition thing. You know what? Whatever, it's the 12th most important game on the schedule. But Penn State is a conference game. It's one of our three biggest games. To take that and punt the home game. To quote, do it for the good of the league. That's a quote that Pete Thamel was given. Why does MSU owe this rotten conference a thing? Mike, but it wasn't just MSU. I mean, it's for this game, but other teams have done the same thing. Yeah, except the one. Well. Yeah, because that okay. one. No. But guess what? Did MSU have to do this, yes or no? No. no. The answer is no, Rico. No. So that's why I'm tired of them capitulating. But, Mike, it may still – it may. you know what? You know why it is little brother thing? It is, as you put on the sheet, little brother's back? Because – I wrote that. I did. Because we're still comparing ourselves to Michigan. No, we're comparing ourselves to the elite programs in the conference that you're yearning to be. Ohio well, State is playing a night game that they didn't want to play. Right. Well, they didn't have to do it either. Like Penn State didn't. Like everybody, like all well, right. I guess we'll yeah, just and do what this happens for the good if of everyone the said no. That's my point. Then you're giving back money, and nobody wants to give back money. And now we've arrived back at David's topic that I support, and I'm voting Hatchet 24. TV is ruining sports. Two four eight. Go ahead, David. In a lovely salmon <laughs> polo. <laughs> Or peach, or I don't know what the hell that is. Everyone, you're right. Everyone has to make the decision because of TV, and I think that's the problem that many fans. I know I have a problem with it. It's you should be able to make whatever decision you want to make at you, your university, what you want to do. Yes. But now TV says no, 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 no. We want this, and now you have to give it. And yeah. granted, you're right, Rico. Michigan isn't giving up a thing. So as a Michigan fan, I'm like, okay, I look over. Okay, Michigan State, do what That's you right. do. Now, now it hasn't but you're aff- selling no, no. your soul. It has not affected you yet. It, will. it not won't the mean. ever affect Michigan. Mm, mm-mm. Don't say never because money doesn't care. Like your season ticket holders at State, uh, uh, to quote Sir Mix a lot, now let's play Big Bank Takes Little Bank. Here's oh. what's going to happen. Oh. Okay. The, TV, the Peacock Network? Way more money than what your season ticket holders are paying for that game. So, guess who's got the higher priority? That's the way it is, guys. Once you started cashing these checks, you got to yeah, do we, what we they didn't. say. We didn't. Well, and guess you we, didn't. No, I mean, I no, mean no, about no one cashes the check. And guess what? The, the cost to pay these players is still being passed on to the fans. You want to start doing this stuff? 
You want to let Big Daddy Kane, the Big Ten Conference, pimp you out? Well, then you should be paying the NIL. I've said that. For, I, I said the TV money should be paying the NIL. It's ridiculous. But this is what happens now. Next week, when the 2024 schedule comes out, we'll see what happens. But oh, I'm sure Penn State's going to move the game to Andover, Maryland, they for n- us, right? They may not play. They may not even be playing Penn State at the end of the year. Even better, we go right back on the flow chart to David's topic. It's ruining the sport. Just call but, them, but David, the little NFL at this point. It is the little NFL, but there are, you know, what? It's a consideration that maybe this does become a thing where they play in Philly, they play in Detroit. When they play yeah. each other, if they play at let, the end of the year. Know. Let me know when the good folks down in State College <laughs> get rid of a gate worth over a hundred grand on senior day with that stupid lion sound effect. Let me know. <laughs> now, could we have softballed this? Could we have rolled it out there like one of those disgusting 1980s cheese balls with the nuts on the outside of it that no one ever never, ate on the cracker tray? Like right. No. I, we just came out guns blazing. But now, if you want the soft serve, here it is. Do you like this, 248? Okay? I don't. I think it's a disgrace. And I think MSU needs to nut up. Christ, always apologizing, always capitulating. Oh, we'll do it for the good of the league. And then you know what the league does? They pull their pants down and they rip ass in your face. Why would you do anything for this conference? They hate us. I don't think you did it for the conference, Mike. I think you did it because you didn't want to give back money. And that's what it still comes down to, what David said. Flow chart. He's not paying attention. No, I'm I'm oh. the flow chart. Oh. Uh but yeah, it's it's money. Because plain and simple, NBC and Peacock were saying if we can't have night games, then you owe us money back. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, so here's my point. When they call you and ask for a night game, you go, great. Get your parka. You come in East Lansing for it. Oh, we'll give you a night game. Oh, you want want to play Penn State, Michigan State tonight? No. Uh, Okay. Okay, but see, here's the thing. And it wasn't you, okay? So I'm not yelling at you. I'm not mad at you. It was a bunch of people saying, it's going to be too cold out there. uh, It's November. This is wrong. This is wrong. Well, they fixed that problem. Giving up home games in the name of TV is wrong. Warm, cold, otherwise. It's wrong. Now, if you have a 50-year tradition like Florida, Georgia, we're going to do something different. The game's equally distant. We sell 50% of the tickets here, 50% of the tickets here. That's fine. But th- this is another example. Like MSU, how about this? The school down the road is doing it brilliant right now. They're having eight home games a year. What are we down to? Six? Six. Eh. You don't think it makes a difference? When you were home last year? I, I just, I'm sorry. I think it's absurd, and I'm tired of it. Christ, just leave. The, honestly, just leave the conference at this point. Go play in the Pac-12, win that thing two years before it collapses, fade to black, end the movie. I mean, I just, what's the point? Oh, we'll do it for the good of the league. What are they going to do for us? Pay you millions of dollars. It ain't coming in my pocket. I'm just saying, that's what the league is And that is money saying. doesn't get passed on to the program because MSU acts like a poor the money gets, goes to the program. Where? Where? I, I'm not the accountant. I Where? don't know. They get the money. Got people peeing in troughs. Yeah, it goes to the program. Sell what? your soul for the money. They just do that to piss you off. Yeah, right here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, Mike wants us to fix the bathroom? Oh, no, they have good bathrooms, no, Mike. No, it's just, David, you understand what I'm saying. I got to listen to this guy. Go, oh, man, MSU's getting hooked up. They're daddy fat stacks. Oh, really? They're- Poverty bathrooms. David, poverty concessions. If you go to the north or the south end, they've upgraded the bathrooms. If yeah. you keep going to the same one Mike goes to, uh, you yeah, know what? That one. Hey, but no, on the other one, it's it ain't David. that one. David, they have music. They actually have like the, the soft towelette. The, yeah, those, that's nice. They give you a warm towel when you're finished. Soft towelette. That's nice. I love it. Yeah. And the warm and don't worry, music. The team's busy taking a dump on the field. <laughs> You good? Take kids to school. Do whatever it is you're about to do. Let's take kids to school. (laughs) You got it right.